Good evening, everyone. My name is uh, Pratyumna. So, uh, hello. And uh, yeah, so this is my very first uh, video on the YouTube. And in this video, I'm going to explain you about the uh, gears. So this uh, belongs to the mechanical uh, stream, hashtag driven uh, part one. So uh, in this, this, this is going to be a very introductory video. It's uh, not going to be highly technical. So a simple introduction uh, will be given in this uh, video. Yeah. So in the background, you can see there are some typical Im uh, there's a image which is uh, giving a representation of uh, a gear. So yeah, actually they are gears. Gears look like this. Then, uh, yeah. So this is an introductory video. So now uh, you can see. Uh, there are some pictures and an animation is provided. So they, these are actually called as uh, gears. This is just a simple animation of a gear. So this uh, one gear and they are in contact with each other. So uh, here it looks like that they have some interlocking mechanism. So this is called as an engagement in the technical language. So this gear is rotating in one direction and the other one is rotating in the anti-clockwise direction. So hence they are uh, Perform the transmission of power. They are transmitting the power. Yeah. So here, uh, in this image, you can see there is a. Uh, this is called as a belt drive uh, mechanism, and this one is a pulley, and this is a belt. Then uh, one more here is a gear, uh, other type of gear mechanism here, where two shafts. Uh, this uh, this gear has its shaft at the center. This gear has its shaft at the center, and they are rotating perpendicular to each other they, these are they, their engagement is there and their engagement is perpendicular to each other so yeah uh, this is uh, just a cross-sectional view of uh, uh, gear then uh, before you need to before we uh, before you study about the uh, gears and take the technical information about gear you need to know about mechanical drives yeah so what are actually mechanical drives so it is just a simple mechanism which is so what does it do? It just gives us, it gives us a desired power transmission. Yeah. And uh, what's a mechanical drive does? It is a link between the power source and the machine. So what does that? Uh, what does these two statements exactly mean? I will explain you uh, uh, in a very short time. Then what is the output set of uh, these uh, mechanical drives? So in the output, what you get is you get a change in speed change in torque. Now, but if you don't know what the speed and torque is, speed is just a rate of change at displacement and torque is, uh, in technical terms, torque is the force into perpendicular distance. If you're from a uh, highly technical background, if you have a highly technical background, then you might understand this very, very uh, easily. Yeah. Then, yes, here is a mechanical drive. That's why I was uh, needed to explain uh, what mechanical drives before I uh, explain you about it. So this video is more focused on the mechanical drive. Now uh, look at this uh, gearbox. So this gearbox is a part of um, lathe machine. So lathe machine has a gearbox. So there's a gear mechanism is there. So what does it do? It actually takes the power from the electric motor, which is uh, below uh, the gearbox. So you can uh, see. And by using belt or any other mechanism, it transmits its power from one gear to other, and uh, the kind of speed you, you desire is achieved. So how this concept is uh, useful? First one is obviously to transmit the power, as I said earlier, mechanically, so by using uh, motions. Next one is, uh, let us consider a gearbox of a lathe machine. So its power source is electric motor. The operation which we are going to perform is machining, or let's say any other or whatever operation is there. So the requirement there is uh, different speed, whatever the speed uh, is desired for the work, whatever the needed speed for the work is speed. So that speed will be lower. And the power source which you have has a higher speed. So uh, the power source has a constant high speed and you need a lower speed for the workplace. So this, full, so this requirement is fulfilled by the gearbox. That's why we need gear. So this, this is the significance of, one of the significance of the gear. Uh, let's say the power motor is uh, 1200 R, uh, is at 12, running at 1200 RPM and the required uh, the workpiece is the, the, oh, yeah, so that is at 100 rpm. Then, 
So you need to change the settings of a mechanism. So uh, let's say in the gearbox, you you have to change some settings here, and then you will be able to get your desired RPM what you what you need. So if you don't have any kind of such kind of mechanism when you're working on your, your own project, so you might need to develop your uh, own mechanism. You might need to design your own uh, gear, uh, gears so that uh, you get your oh, whatever the speed you and uh, whatever the speed or cost you need. So that's all for this uh, video. I won't take it uh, much uh, longer. And uh, thank you for the time you spend uh, for this uh, video. Yeah, have a nice.